Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the GCVs, the Galactic Family, and Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. Look, your haters are power bottoms, and they're mad. You know they've been swallowed up by their father, the devil. Let's get right into it. Your haters are power bottoms, and they've been swallowed up by their father, the devil, okay? The devil has swallowed them up whole, all right? Ate them up whole because the person that they choose to be, all right? They're demonic. Their energy's not good, all right? They're the type of person that you don't want no business to deal with, with them and their power by themselves, all right? They chose to be a person that no one likes and wonder why don't nobody like them. They, they, they're toxic, they're negative, nobody wants to be around them. And when you go the other way, now they wanna take that out on you because you are choosing to not deal with someone that is going to bring some drama into your day. Nobody wants a drama-filled day, all right? If, 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 if you have something going on that I don't and you ain't working on it, I'm not going to allow you to bring that into my life and to stress me out and to worry me. But when you're worry free, they want you to have worry times three. So keep doing you. All right. People are going to want you to speak to them. People are going to try to uh, force conversations on you, but just walk right past them. You don't have to say anything to them. All right. Nobody can make you do anything you don't want to do. If, if somebody may try to trap you in a conversation if somebody may come to you and start hating, um, I would just particularly stay focused on what I'm doing and I would mind my business and act like they're not even there. Even if this person is right here. All right. That that will help a lot of times. Don't say nothing. All right. I've seen a lot of people say be silent. Kudos to you. That's a very smart thing to do. Kudos to you. That's a very wise thing to do. Stay silent. All right. We may think we have to speak to people to get them up out our face. All right, we may think we have to talk to someone. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Even when it comes down to speaking to people, hey, I'm right here. You're not going to talk to me? You're not going to talk? Like, no, I'm not going to talk to you. And I don't even have to say I'm not going to talk to you. But if you start to get on my nerves enough, I will tell you where to go kindly. All right, we don't have to handle things negatively. All right, because even if someone comes up into, into your reality and you don't want them there, if you get negative sometimes, they're looking for supply and that's what they want as well. All right. We know that these people thrive off negativity and they're looking for negativity. All right. So you can really take care of a lot of things without saying anything. Sometimes you may, you know, may be a problem solver. You may think that, uh, you know, this and you know that sometimes all you got to do is just sometimes all you got to do is just sometimes all you got to do is just like yo and when you yo, when when you look up when you look up and you actually do pay attention to them but you don't say nothing and you look to the left and you look to the right a lot of times they'll get the point all right a lot of times that will make a person feel uneasy like you ever walked up to your parent your mom or dad and you've been like hey can you take me here and they don't they don't say nothing you come back a little later hey can you get that can you get that toy for me and then they, they look up and then they just be like, they start breathing. You be like, oh, I think I need to leave uh, Pops alone. Or, oh, I think I need to leave uh, Big Mama alone. Yo, they'll do the same thing with you. They'll be like, oh, okay, I get the message. A lot of, like, and yo, not saying nothing, it holds a lot of power because people don't know what time you're on. That's why when you the type of person that you are, that's why they watch you like that. And they're skeptical of you in the first place because you're quiet. All right. There's there's power in silence. There's power in being quiet. All right. So when the power bottoms try to come and try to uh, exert the power. All right. Just sometimes you don't even got to say nothing. All right. And I'm glad some people putting that in the comments because, yo, that's that was that was the main thing that I used to do. I would always do that. But um, getting caught up with, with, with when when life uh, doesn't really go how you want it to go when you're stressed. Sometimes you forget certain things that worked for you because you're not at that level of peace. 
All right. When when certain that and this is why it's always good to work on yourself. This is why it's always good to have some money. <laughs> it's always good to have some money. All right. When you have money, you're less stressed. Tell me I'm lying. All right. When you when you got bank accounts with a couple extra zeros in there, more, more, more than just uh, one or 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 you uh you feel good about yourself more than one or none you feel good about yourself all right when you when you have things going for you when you're uh doing the right things in your life that reduces a lot of stress all right when 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 you are moving moving things forward in your life when you're focused on your goals and you you put you put your dreams first and you're not um lying to yourself you're not uh bullishing yourself that decreases a lot of stress. People are stressed and upset and worried. A lot of times it's because they're not doing anything, but they may not know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, that's great. You you have a clean slate if you don't know what to do, because you can find out what you need to do. That's the beauty of life. When you don't know, you can know. All right. When you don't grow, you can grow. That's the beauty of it. You just have to be aware, and that's why awareness is key. That's why a lot of philosophies and a lot of teachings will try to stress the awareness. All right, that's why a lot of uh, people who are enlightened or who are smart or who are successful, they say you have to know. All right, that's why people say if you know better, you do better. If you knew better, you do better, and that boils down to the awareness. Like I said, you can't hold yourself accountable or you can't hold things against you for what you didn't know. But when you don't know, you have to seek. If you seek, you shall find. All right, look, yo, look at the look at the human mind, y'all. When you seek, you will find. So if you don't know, seek things out and they'll come to you. When you don't know, seek out your divine mind, which is connected to universal intelligence and the universal mind and ideas will flow to you. These are real things. Whether you know, whether you're aware of it or not, these things are real and they're there for you to help you. All right. People are uh, confused and lost because they're not aware of the right things. They're aware of what show was on last night. They're aware of Blueface and Krishan Rock. All right. They're aware of who Soldier Boy is beefing with, but they're not aware of certain things that will help them and get them to a better place in life. All right. And this goes both ways for the for the power bottoms, people trying to uh, stress you and vex you. All right. The people who uh, got swallowed up by the devil. All right. With their ignorance and their confusion and their chaos and their wicked ways. You can you can stand a chance to be wicked, too, even if you think you're a good person. All right. Um, wickedness isn't just what e what evil people are doing out there. Wickedness is having a hardened heart. Wickedness is uh, reacting to people. Wickedness is um, not having the right idea about yourself. Wickedness is being in a place to where you don't have love for people. All right. Love, 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 love. All right. Say it with me. Love, 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 love. Wickedness be gone. All right. So when you're when you're a good person and a loving person and, and, and you feel that way about yourself, wickedness has no place being in your mind and in your heart of hearts. All right. Your heart of hearts is your deep subconscious mind. That's the, the deep regions of your mind. That's the things that you that that's the part of your mind that you impress things on that makes things happen. That's the part where those ideas flow from. All right. Your deep, deep subconscious mind that's connected to the father. All right. That's why there's a Bible verse that says, come close, my son, that I may feel you. All right. That's what um, when when um, when uh, the child and his forgive me, I don't know too much. Y'all I'm still learning. All right. Forgive me, uh, because when when um, when their father was calling them and uh, Esau was going to get the blessing and Jacob went and got it. It doesn't matter if it was Jacob or Esau. It was whoever could come close all right, whoever could come close to the father, all right, who, who, if you can bring um, yourself close to God with, uh, uh, w w with what you need and allow yourself to get closer to God with your, with your prayer and your questions and what you're going through, he can help you. That's why he says, draw nigh to him. 
draw close to God and he'll draw close to you. If you if there's something that you're going through, if there's something that you need help with, you draw close to the Father with the deep regions of your mind and you feel yourself as the one who deserves the blessing. All right, you feel yourself as the one who deserves the blessing. You feel yourself as the one who deserves the, the idea. You feel yourself as the one who deserves the money. You feel yourself as the one who deserves that money in their bank account. You feel yourself as the one who deserves that new job, who deserves that promotion, who deserves that raise, who deserves that new home, who deserves that new car. All right, so these people will try to come into your life and stress you out. But when you're working on yourself and you feel yourself as the one who deserves a better life, who deserves more, even when they try to, you're going to be able to stay peaceful and stay silent. Because when you're on, when you're at the level of don't push me because I'm close to the edge, I'm trying not to lose my head. That's dangerous waters. And that could be prevented by doing things, by uh taking care of yourself, by doing the right things with your life, by making sure that uh, your finances are right, your health is right, your mind is right, because there are going to be, there are going to be people that try you. There are going to be haters, all right, who got that power bottom mentality, all right, who, who done been swallowed up by the devil, their father, and they're going to try to come at you with some mess. But the more you are, are at ease, the more you are at peace, the more you are at one with the Father, I and I and the Father are one. All right. The more you are aware of certain techniques, certain coping mechanisms, certain tactics. All right. Certain empath tactics, certain chosen one tactics. If not, if narcs have their tactics, we can have ours, too. When when narcs have their tactics, we can have ours, too. So when people want to get difficult, you can actually make it more difficult for them to be difficult. And that's what using your mind is all about. That's what um, being silent and being able to keep your peace is all about. When, when, when you're dealing with people and they're tough because they're, they're trying to make your life tough, not necessarily tough like a brute, but they're just like tough to deal with. All right. When, when you can keep your silence, that's strength right there. When you can keep your peace, that is strength right there. All right. That, that's, that's a strong person right there who can, who can, stay silent in the midst of some BS. All right. Because when, when you open your mouth and you talk, you might end up being uh, drawn into the negativity and that makes you more susceptible to react. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for the people in the comment section. A lot of people were saying be silent. All right. And that is one, that's one of the main things that I used to do. And now that's one of the main thing that I'm always going to do because not everything deserves a flipping response. All right. Just because somebody is talking to you doesn't mean you have to talk back. Just because somebody's saying something to you doesn't mean you have to say anything back. All right. You could you could boot it out. You can Christ it out. All right. You can keep your peace. That is a form of prayer. Silence is one of the best prayers, baby. Silence is a form of prayer, not speaking. Silence is golden. And when you are silent, you are golden. You are the golden child. Um, you are the golden child. And yo, like I said, don't you forget. Don't you don't you forget. Don't yo, don't, don't, don't make don't let them make you look up and look left and look right. They're gonna back up. And when they back up, you know you're winning. All right, when you when you back up, it keeps you from sinning. All right. When you cuss people out, when you uh, 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 start getting angry and upset, I'm going to get out of my face. No, 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 no. All right. These people will actually laugh. That's when the narcissistic smirks come out. <laughs> hey, man, calm down, man. I didn't, mean to... <laughs> I didn't mean to do all that to you, man. I didn't mean to take you there, man. I didn't... Whoa, man. What got into you? What was wrong with you? They know damn well what's wrong with you. So that's why you keep your peace. You, you don't say nothing to these people when you don't have to. Because silence, yo, silence rhymes with violence. Let silence be your violence. All right? Let silence be your violence. So that way you don't get into a situation to where they, they have to play the world's smallest violin. Well, you could have chose. You could have chose to not... 
really? So, so you so they don't so you don't have to. You, you, I'm pretty sure you could picture that. So you don't have to hop, hop hop out that thought bubble. I'm gonna give you a second. Hop out that thought bubble and go back to the picture of yourself just sitting there, being silent and being peaceful and ignoring that fool. All right, you could. You, we all got phones. All right, you yo Google some scriptures. All right, we all got phones. Uh, um, and you may even have to keep some headphones around for these people. All right, always keep some headphones on deck. If you know there are, are, are foolish people around and creeps around, keep you some earbuds. All right, put your earbuds in. That's an ultimate message. Are you going to put your earbuds in on me? And still don't say nothing. Practice not saying nothing to these people. That's, that's a great thing to do. All right, that's a powerful thing to do. Because sometimes you may think that, well, I know what to say, or I know what to do, or I can say this and this will do it. You ain't even got to waste your breath. You ain't even got to waste your energy sometimes. All right. And, and, and that's what I picked up from the people with the comment say, section saying, I'm silent. And that works. Being silent works. All right. You could be, yo, Silent J and or, uh, uh, what his name was? Silent Bob. There we go. Be Silent Bob. Silent Bob. He ain't say nothing the whole movie. Silent Bob didn't, he, he committed no sin, said nothing the whole movie, just. And actually being silent will help you ignore these people even better because when you're silent, you're peaceful, all right? Let silence be your violence. Let silence destroy these folks. Let your silence make these people get the message. It'll drop you know, Your silence will drive the message on home without you even having to give them a message. Message without you even having to say anything. Silence is powerful. It's one of the most powerful things on the earth. That's why people, they have a silent protest. So when these people come at you with that bull-ish, have a silent, you know what? I, anybody that comes to me, I'm a, any time, every time. When it's nothing, when when it's, it's nothing to even say, I'm just gonna have a silent protest. If you don't have to say nothing, you, if you if you don't need to say nothing, you don't have to say nothing. There we go. If you don't need to say nothing, you don't have to say nothing. Not everything deserves a response, and definitely, most importantly, not everyone deserves a response. All right, make these people feel stupid. Make these people feel foolish. Don't answer them. You don't have to answer back. Whatever they say, they may start calling you names. You can turn your back on them. Make sure you keep, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't fully turn my back on them. Maybe turn to the side on them. Because you may not fully be able, not to say you don't trust people, not to say you don't have trust, but you may not fully be able to have that amount of trust to turn your back to them. So turn to the side on them. Turn away from them. Don't turn your back to them. Turn away from them. All right? You never know what a punk may try to do. God forbid. All right. So turn away from them. And then if you have to get up and walk away there, there's there. The real strength is in the people who can face confrontation without getting confrontational because that that's, that's a last resort. That's self-defense. All right. So the, the rural people who are really strong and who are really about their business and really standing on business, they don't even waste their time. Uh, if, if imagine imagine going up to somebody rich like hey um i got this business idea if that person don't have time for you they're not even going they're not going to say nothing and that's what you you are you know i am rich right start acting like a rich person start believing yourself as a rich person start act uh acting like a rich person thinking like a rich person uh behaving that's why i meant to say behaving like a rich person but I, there's nothing wrong with saying that twice start thinking like a rich person there ain't nothing wrong with saying that thrice all right, start thinking like a rich person. I'm going to say that four times. I'm, I'm driving it on home, baby. So it's nothing wrong with being silent. And I'm glad somebody said that because you just reminded me just how powerful silence is. You don't have to say anything half the time. And when you don't say anything, that lets people know that, man, I should just leave this alone or I should probably leave this alone, or they're probably just going to suck their teeth and walk away because they're not getting anything out of you. And you know, being silent is the best thing so nobody can get anything out of you. Because when you start to talk, when you start to respond, these people could play their little game. You don't know how strong their little manipulation game is. They may be able to uh, get in your head and start to make you use your mind against yourself. That's what manipulators do. 
they get in your head and they make you use your own thoughts and your own mind against yourself. So is there no, I wouldn't give these people the title master manipulator. I wouldn't give them that title. I wouldn't give them that much power in my life. I wouldn't give them that much strength, even if that's what they are. I'm not going to look at you that way. I'm the master manipulator over here. I'm the puppet master over here. You try to pull my strings, I'm going to pull yours. You try to pull my strings, I'm going to pull them back. I'm going to cut the cords. You ain't going to never pull my strings again. Because I, got, I ain't got nothing for you, my friend. I ain't got nothing but love. I ain't got nothing but love for you, baby. I ain't got nothing but love for you. Rest in, rest in power, Heavy D. I ain't got nothing but love for you. All right? Let silence be your violence to these power bottoms, these people who are swallowed up by evil and negativity and don't want to just leave you be, swallowed up by foolishness, all right, swallowed up by pettiness. All right, these people are petty, they're foolish, and the minute you get upset and, and get angry, they're just going to start laughing and act like a little kid because that's what they are, a little demonic child. You know these people are, are, are childish. All right, you know these people got got uh, uh they're not smarter than a, a a third grader. So yo, miss miss me with the bush, miss me with the bush, miss me with the bush, miss me miss me miss ever ever miss me with the bush, miss me with that bull stuff, man. All right, keep your peace. You don't have you don't have to give it away. You can keep your peace in any situation. And and that's what being silence is that's what being silent is for. And that's what being silent taught me. Te that's what being silent is teaching me. That I can keep my peace in any situation just by shutting my mouth, keeping my mouth closed, sealing my lips. Because you don't have every you don't owe everyone a response. All right. To speak to someone, that's to give power to someone. If somebody can get you to speak to them when you don't want to, that's power that they have over you. And that's power that they know they have over you. Somebody keeps trying to force you to say hello to them or speak to them when you don't and you don't speak to them. They're not going to keep walking up to you. They may try, but after a while, they're just going to go the other way. They're not they're not going to keep uh, trying to get to you anymore. When you speak to them, you, when you speak to people, it's an energy transfer. When you speak to people, you give them energy. That's why these crazy weirdos try to pop out on you and be like, hi, how are you? Even if you look at them, you're not giving them no energy, but still keep your eyes straight forward. If you can, don't look at them. If you see them, look like if you see them, look at their shoes, look at their hair, or look at their teeth. <laughs> Yo, look, if, if they force you to look at them real quick, don't look at them in the eyes. Look at their shoes, look at their hair. And look at their teeth. That's going to make them feel self-conscious. When you look at the, I guarantee you, if they so worried about you, they probably ain't even brushed their teeth this morning. I guarantee you, if they so worried about you, the hair probably all unkept. I guarantee you, if they worried about, not no shoes. What? Yo, that, that is like a, the ultimate insult that you could say to somebody. Not no shoes. If you have anything to say. If, if you if you do say anything and I wouldn't use it in that particular time, but you, a matter of fact, like, right, right, right. Let's you don't even have to say anything. You could you can. Per, you don't have to say that you don't have to say that you don't actually have to say that you can project it. Use your mind. Right. This is a channel of the mind. All right. This is a channel where we use our mind all the time. Because I saw the sign, it opened up my eyes, I saw the sign, I don't have to say ish when I can create it. You don't have to say anything. You can create an energy in your mind and project it onto the loser. You can look at their hair and you can look at their teeth and if you're a person like me, your facial expression says it all, all right? And that's the beauty of having a... a, a, a but that's the beauty of being someone with a facial expression. If you're like me and your facial expression gives you away, let it give you away. Mm. I wouldn't even do I wouldn't even do that. I just give them the give them the mm face that give them the mm look that. That's why you look at their shoes, you look at their teeth or you look at their hair and you look at it with disgust because you're, you you you're disgusted with them. So look at them like that. Project that onto them. Project that. God bless you and keep it moving. 
and you could use your mind and actually project the energy onto people. Because a lot of times when they walk past you and you end up getting angry or upset, they're projecting onto you. They, they know a little bit about that mental projection stuff. So the only person that may not be aware of it or may not be using it is us. All right. So that's another thing. That's why silence is violence. All right. Just like that movie, Little Nicky, just like the movie, Little Nicky, you could use your mind. No matter if they don't matter if you know they hear you or not, they gonna feel it energetically. They gonna feel it spiritually, third eyely. They gonna feel it. All right. So use your mind and project how you feel onto these people. Since they want since they want to be all up in the mix. All right, since they want to be all up in the Kool-Aid, don't even know the flavor, they're going to they gonna know that you're going to learn today. You're going to know the flavor today. The flavor is the mystery pack. <laughs> the flavor is the mystery pack. And, you know, you, know, you, you don't know what you're getting. All right, you, you, might, you might be getting hit with the garbage patch flavor, the garbage patch, uh, patch kids flavor. Not the cabbage patch, the garbage patch kids flavor. You might be getting hit with uh, who knows what. But we're going to hit you with it mentally, and you're not even going to know. And we're going we gonna, to we gonna lay it on you, too. You're going to walk away feeling all self-conscious about yourself, all kinds of awkward about yourself, all types of unhappy. And that's another thing that will keep them from bothering you because they're not going to want it to experience that energy again. All right, since, since we got energy and we can give off energy, give off an energy that'll make them not want to come back. Be silent and mentally project. They want to mentally project onto us, mentally project onto them. This is this is psychological warfare, ain't it? We got to we got to play to win. We got to fight to win. We, we this is a, a battle for your mind. This is a battle of the mind. So make sure you battle back correctly, the right way. Do it right. It's understood. Do it right. So that way it's understood. All right, do it right. Look at their hair. Look at their teeth or look at their look at their feet. Look at that, yo! It better not be some. It, it better not be summertime. You look at the yo. If, it, if it, in the summertime, take a glance at them toes. You may throw up afterwards, but it's better than getting your energy taken. All right, you, you. They're gonna be like, "What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me?" Looking at them little crusty toes they got. Looking at them little sandpaper bottom feet they got. They got the power bottom mentality and the sandpaper bottom feet. Feet look like they could cut glass. Got the nerve to be, be, be trying to bother people. Look like they ain't been, look like they, they look like they uh, never had a pedicure in life. Got the nerve to be trying to uh, uh, walk all up close to you and, hi, yo, can you go somewhere with that? Nope, we're not doing that no more. Not doing that. We're not, we don't, you don't have to speak nothing to these people. You ain't got to say not a now nutter to these people and i'm glad that i finally it finally came to me i'm like yo why is everybody saying be silent in the comments i'm like what's that gonna do uh, i'm like yo I, I used to do that i remember that all right but hey sometimes you have to be in the right mind state for that sometimes things gotta you you gotta be peaceful enough but it's all about being in the right mindset state it's all about being aware all right it, you, you you it's all about being aware you your finances may not be there yet everything may not be in place yet but that's where you don't base your faith according to appearances you base your faith according to what you think as a man thinketh so is he doesn't matter what the heck is going on on the outside doesn't matter what things appear to be like doesn't matter what things may look like doesn't matter what he she they whoever is doing according to your belief so be it unto you. I'm more powerful than this fool. Let me just keep my mouth shut and just mentally project how I want this person to feel. Let me send some energy darts at this fool and keep it moving. And that's how you defeat these people. All right. That's how you defeat people whose father is the devil. All right. Send, send something their way. Some dastardly. All right. Send something their way. God bless you. You could even you could even project a God bless you at him because that's letting God hand that's let go and letting God. That's uh letting vengeance is mine, duff say if the Lord. Just because you said in God bless you at him, it's up to God. How he gonna handle him, that's how he gonna handle him. All right. Mm -hmm. I got you. 
<laughs> you ain't got to close your eyes to do it. I, would, I wouldn't close my eyes around them anyway. All right, you want to bombastic side out at every move, especially when they're being weird and plotting and watching. All right, you want to be plotting up here too. Somebody put that in the comments the other day too, plot back, and I like that. All right, so definitely this is another video you're going to want to rewind. What do you say? Uh, something, something, select that and, re and we rewind. Fat man scoop. All right, uh, hit the rewind on this one. But most definitely, all right, you don't got to say nothing to people who don't deserve nothing from you. People who don't deserve the time of day from you, you don't got to speak to them. People who are rude, people who are just trying to take your energy, energy vampires, people who don't deserve you to speak to them, people being weird, being creepy, trying to uh, um, force interactions, things like that. They could try to do that all they want. But the thing is, when you think you have to speak to them, when you think you got to interact with them, you're giving them too much power and you're taking your power away from yourself and, and giving it to them when you have all the power and there's power in silence. Let silence be your violence. You could mentally project these people onto these people, whatever you want. All right, you could even you could even tap into their mind and be like, yo, go somewhere else and leave me alone. But when you get mad and when you get upset, you're not thinking clearly and you're not using your mind. And that's the distraction. That's why they're trying to distract you. That's why they're trying to get you to react. Because when you react, you don't think, you don't think clearly, you don't use your mind. Use your mind, think clearly, and destroy these people and put that mental whooping on them like you're supposed to be doing. Because you're the chosen one. You're an empath, all right? We get so upset and angry sometimes, we forget who we are. All right? Some, yo, don't forget who you are. Remember, all right? I remember. Don't forget, all right? Tell yourself that right now. I remember. I remember. I remember. I know who I am. <laughs> I know who I am. You're strong. You got strength. You, we, we got all this energy, right? Now it's time to use it correctly and do something with it in a positive way. Even if it's to keep somebody the heck away. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button. Smash that share button. If it is the summertime, I wouldn't stare at their feet too long. But I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love. Love and light.